A Multnomah County grand jury has decided not to charge a Gresham police officer for fatally shooting a man in southeast Portland. Now, this happened in May of last year. We're getting a look at a neighbor's surveillance video of that night and some of the officer's body camera footage showing the night that Israel Berry was shot and killed. Now, Jenny Young, live on this story tonight, breaking down the key moments in those videos for us. Jenny? Well, Jeff, as you said, it was a Gresham police officer who responded to that scene. That's because Portland police were occupied with the protests that were going on in downtown Portland uh, on that night. Now, Gresham police did provide this video, both videos to us, uh, and they did some editing to those videos. And we want, uh, of course, to warn you that it might be disturbing uh, for some people to watch. I have a crazy dude outside my house uh, honking the horn, uh, stringing my trash all over the yard. That's part of a 911 call made on May 31st, 2020. The caller was complaining about the guy you see here, throwing bags of trash into the caller's front yard and allegedly making verbal threats. Now he's threatening to kill one of my animals if I don't come out of the house. Investigators say this is Israel Barry. Shortly before this, Barry also made a call to 911 to complain that the person in the house stole his cell phone. No, oh, I need someone to come here and tell him to give him a phone. Keep watching. It isn't long before you see two people walk out of the house to confront Barry. And then watch. This is where investigators say Barry pushes the homeowner to the ground and injures him. Moments later, Barry is seen reversing his car, narrowly missing the homeowner before smashing into a line of garbage cans. We're told as all this was taking place, Gresham police were en route to the neighborhood. This is body camera footage showing Officer James Doyle pulling up to the scene. Officer Doyle's camera shows him stepping out of his vehicle. Gresham police say Barry, still behind the wheel of a car, accelerated towards Doyle. And that's when the officer opened fire. So the video goes on to show Officer Doyle and another officer waiting for backup before they approach the car and get Barry out of the car to render aid. Again, that Multnomah County Grand Jury choosing not to indict Officer Doyle. Reporting live, Jenny Young, Coin 6 News.